Welcome back to my channel. She goes by India. Yep, that's me. So I'm going to start off by putting the rice into the pot, which I'm putting one cup and a little less than a half. The next step is to wash your rice, and I'm going to go ahead and do that three times. So I'm going to give it a quick mix, and this is going to be the first cycle with the water. Make sure all that water comes out. This will be the second cycle, and if you notice, the water ain't that foggy. Continue to mix it around a bit. And like the first time, pour it out. This will be the third and last cycle. Mix it up good. And go ahead and pour out that last water. So this final step is filling up the pot with the water that I'm going to boil it with. Notice the amount of water that's in the pot. And yes, it's way more water than what you would usually use as if you were going to do just regular plain old white rice. As you can see here, the rice is, is starting to get to a boil. I'm going to mix it up a bit just so that the rice doesn't stick together. And then we're going to leave it alone and let it cook. In this next clip, you see me adding more water because to me, the rice was not soft to my liking yet. Keep in mind that everyone does it their own certain way. I'm just showing you how I do it. So the rice has really come up to a boil and as you can see, it's almost done. Now that the water has evaporated to my liking, I'm going to go ahead and start adding the milk. Not that I've ever tried it with any type of different milk like almond milk or anything like that, but the type of milk that I'm using is 2% milk. Now that I mix the rice and milk very well, we're going to go ahead and let the milk get thicker. Here I'm just giving a little quick preview on how it's coming out. It's getting thicker, but I want it a bit more thicker. I don't want the milk to be too watery. So this is about to be the finale. It's really bubbling up and it's gotten way thicker. I left it for like five more minutes before I turned it off. I also let it cool down for five minutes before plating. So my last step after plating, I like to add salt. Many other people like to use cinnamon or sugar. I just like plain old salt. Thank you for watching. And remember, always put God first.